Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode with me, Shishan Gurupa. And in today's episode, we'll do something slightly different. First, I'm going to look at what is happening from a global standpoint, macroeconomic level. What is happening from an Indian standpoint? What is happening from a technical analysis perspective? And we will look at three to four different stocks that look really attractive from a technical analysis standpoint. I'm going to give you all the levels so that you can start marking these entry points, exit points, support and resistance, everything today, right? So quickly, before wasting any more time, let's get into understanding more about today's video. And we look at the different elements and different stocks as well. So stay tuned. Now, guys, the first thing you need to understand is if you look at the macroeconomic perspective right now, there is a lot of fear of recession coming into the picture, right? Now, if you look at what is happening, happening with respect to the US market, apparently 83% of all the CEOs of big companies are saying that in the next 12 months, they might see a recession coming soon, right? But again, there's always talks about recession, economic activities, economic cycles that keep happening in the market. So our job is to not keep looking at what might happen tomorrow. Yes, we should definitely understand from a macroeconomic point, but we can't worry too much about the future and not take advantage of the present today right now. And if you look at Indian market, Indian market always runs on themes and we have different stocks that are currently doing really well from a technical analysis perspective and now recently we have seen that the IT sector have started doing really well and we saw a beautiful comeback in the IT sector mainly because the results have started coming out really well except Wipro every other company have done really good with respect to results right so what I'm going to do is before we get into the video quickly let's look at all the different type of indexes that are there the metal index real estate index IT index and then we'll quickly go into the stocks as well okay so stay tuned now before we get into the video for all the people who want to do intra day trading now there is a way where you can do this and pay zero rupees in brokerage m stock is a trading platform launched by mirai asset where you can take the 999 a year plan and pay zero brokerage on all intraday trades now usually for intraday traders brokerage basically adds up to a significant cost and that sometimes can hurt your profit and loss or your pnl statement now let's check some savings achieved here. Now, if you assume that you do 10 trades a day, that is actually five actual trades, basically five buy trades and five sell trades, you end up saving 48,000 rupees in brokerage a year. Now, if you just want to do delivery in IPO and mutual funds, then there is another plan of 149 rupees, which is a monthly plan where you can use that plan and that will provide you zero brokerage again on this segment. And it is for those who want to explore the platform and want to know how it works before actually paying the 999. Now, apart from that, there is another 999 plan where your AMC charges will also be waived off for the entire lifetime. Now, apart from this, Mstock also has a few interesting features. What are those interesting features? One is called one click order execution, one click order placement. They have something called voice search. Basically, you can find your preferred stocks through voice itself. And they also have pre-designed index baskets. Now, Mirai Asset is a well-known brand that has been operating in the Indian market for more than 15 years. So if you want to save a lot of money on brokerage and use a trusted platform, then you can click on this link below to sign up and then start your trading journey. But before that, let me give you a glimpse into this trading platform as well. Now, as you can see, the market is still open, but this is like the how the trading terminal basically looks like right now, where you have all the key indices on the left, the FII, DII activity, which is again, very, very, very important because we want to know what is happening with respect to how many FIIs are investing, how many DIIs are investing. And yesterday we saw that the FIIs removed 1600 crores and DIIs basically invested 753 crores into the market, right? So this is a very important data. Apart from that, we also have some global indices that you can look at. Again, you look at Dow Jones and NASDAQ, which is your US indices. We have S&P find it also. And you see that the current global markets are doing really well. And quickly, if you want to see all the popular stocks, which is basically your gainers and losers, you can check that as well. And if you see the IT stocks, Infosys is doing really well. Why? Because Infosys has recently done a buyback. So that is doing really well. ICICI Bank, HDFC and NCL Tech. Again, you can see by volume and by value as well here on what is trending right now. Apart from that, if you quickly want to execute a buy transaction, you can do that. As I mentioned, you have the one click uh, transaction as well, where you can just take any stock. For example, let's take Electra Green Tech. Right. And all I can do, you can only see my margin available here. I can just put one quantity and click on buy. Very simple order is placed and it's completely done there as well. Right. So it becomes very easy for me to like start looking at all my orders. So you can click on orders and you can check out all the orders that are there, which is pending. And if you look at the executed orders, you can see all the executed orders that are currently there in this platform. 
platform as well. So it gives you a very clear and easy understanding of what is happening in your current platform. And you can also create multiple different watch lists and that watch list you can also check the volume, what is the price right now with that upper circuit, lower circuit and what is happening with that particular stock. All of that you can see here as well. And quickly if you want you can also check a chart which comes out very similar to TradingView. So you can check out the entire chart patterns as well and you can change it from say one minute. I don't want this to be one minute. I'm changing it to 15 minutes to give a beautiful indication of what is happening right now. So this is basically the entire platform of MStop. It looks very attractive. It is very attractive uh, and it's a very clean UI and a clean user interface. So you can check it out as well. I'm putting the link in the comment section below. I'm putting the link in the description as well. You can click on this and go check it out as well. Okay. Coming back to the video. Now guys, first let's look at what is happening with our index, which is the Sensex index, right? As you look at the Sensex and Nifty index right now, we have been currently trading in a very range bound motion. What do I mean by range bound motion? We have been going up, down, up, down, up, down and currently we're still hanging in there here. We're not going down. We're not going up as well. It is literally stuck right now. We're just waiting for a massive move to happen. Whether it's a positive move or negative move, we don't know. But Nifty has been jumping around 17,000 from the last one week. And it is a very big scare because 17,000 is a very, very, very crucial level. And the minute it breaks 17,000, then we'll start heading down towards 16,000 as well. So this is why the fear of 17,000 is there, right? So if you look at the Nifty, this is what is happening. But if you look at the global market right now, which is NASDAQ, oh my God, NASDAQ has taken a massive beating. It is in a complete downward journey. Right now, it is currently trading at 10,600, which it was trading last time in September 2020. So almost a two year gap, it has given zero returns in the last two years, right? And now there is no sign of it recovering also because what we can see from the US markets, we're still seeing that recession is looming in, it might do really bad, it might go into an accumulation phase, but all in all, the US market is looking really bad. But Indian market, we still don't know, we're still waiting for that right moment, whether it's going to break 17,000 or will there some positive news come that will push the stock price to go up, right? Next, if you look at our realty index, okay, what is our realty index, our real estate index, our real estate index actually did a massive rally in the past consolidated came down and now it's in a consolidation mode right now. So I would say it's not really moving up, not really moving down. Why did it move up so much over here? Because mainly because the interest rates of housing loans were really low. Now, if you see the interest rates of housing loans have gone up to almost eight and a half percent, eventually it'll go up to nine percent, 10 percent as well, like how it was before, right? And then the real estate market will be normal, like how it was before. If you look at the metal index, the metal index is basically a commodity cycle type index, right? Now, what people are saying that in the future, in the next five years, metal index or metal stocks will do really well. Commodity stocks will do really well. Why? Because we are still spending a lot of money on infrastructure and the demand for these metal projects or demand for infrastructure will go up. And that is why Nifty Metal will do really well in the coming few years is what people are predicting. And coming to our favorite, which is CNX IT, which is the IT index. Now, IT index, boss, we were all scared, right? We made these positions as well. And we said that if it breaks this position, then boss, we are going into a very bad cycle. But luckily, recently, I don't know how many of you have saw this, but the IT results came out where TCS results were good, Infosys results were good, HCL results were good, Wipro results were not good, mainly because fundamentally Wipro is struggling right now. But if you look at all the others, they're doing really well, right? Now, let's look at some of the stocks quickly. We'll look at some IT stocks and we'll look at some other stocks as well. The first stock I want to show you guys is Axis Bank. Now, if you look at Axis Bank, please mark these levels very carefully, right? Axis Bank has been trading in this range from a very, this is a daily chart and it's been trading in this range from the last one year, right? If you look at it from here, November 2020 till now, it has been trading in the same range, which is this range. And if it breaks its previous high of 835, 842, this is going to start making all time highs again. So all, all of us are actually waiting to look at this because the earnings is also coming out. It, it did well. Uh, we're all waiting for whether this will break this barrier because if you look at the previous past as well, it has hit this barrier once in 2019, again hit the barrier in 2021, again hit the barrier twice here, again third time here, now it's the fourth time here. So if it breaks out with very good volume and as a retest, then Axis Bank will go above 1000 in the coming few years. So please keep this very carefully in your radar. Keep this area marked because this is a very crucial point. Then don't tell me I didn't warn you before. If this breaks 835, it will go up to 1000 eventually, right? And that can be a very good swing trade opportunity for you all you guys. Next, we come to Infosys. Now, Infosys recently hit its bottom out two, three times, but we did not take a trade there. Why? Because we were scared. 
that if we take a trade there and if it breaks and it will go down even more so the margin of safety was around 10% but right now it is a in a very good position you can take a nice bet right now why can you why you can take a nice bet right now recently infosys announced a massive 9000 crore buyback at i think a floor price of somewhere around 1800 so every time infosys has done this when they announce a buyback the stock price has gone up 10 to 15% in the past right and if you look at infosys adr as well they have also gone up around 6 to 7% adr is basically infosys trading in the us stock market so infosys buyback good news infosys result good news infosys dividend good news so from all of these three different good news that we can see infosys is a very good buy right now and if it breaks 1550 it should definitely go back to 1800 you can get a minimum 15 to 20% upside over here in infosys so you can time this well same with tcs tcs again if you look at the daily chart very interesting it's making a beautiful pattern over here and this keep this line marked okay i would suggest you also make this line and keep this line marked right keep a track of this so there is no negative news coming out with respect to tcs in fact only good news have come out uh, they've given a healthy dividend also so if this keeps going up and we do see an it revival happening or the it sector revival happening and the minute it breaks this line wherever it breaks this line the minute it breaks this line you can take a buy position here and this will start going up in an upward journey again right uh, and if it doesn't buy as long as it's trading in this zone i i would say it's still in a no trade zone let it significantly break and how do i mean by significantly break you will come to know very easily right what will come to know you will basically see a massive green candle going up like this and when that happens you take an entry position here and you just wait because this is going to go up to 4000 again eventually it'll give you another 15 to 20% gain over here so again mark these levels and keep these levels with you this is again reaching a very crucial point of a breakout so infosys i've already shown you axis bank crucial breakout infosys you can start accumulating right now tcs again at a crucial point Now, if you look at Tata Alexi, we're all waiting for the result of Tata Alexi, right? Now, Tata Alexi, as you saw before, was trading in this beautiful channel for a very long period of time, and we made these things last time as well. Now, if you look at Tata Alexi, they it has recently broken this channel and has come down in a downward slope, right? Now, previously also it has done this where it has come below the channel and then taken a U turn and gone back. So this result is going to be very crucial because Tata Alexi is play, trading at a very high premium right now, very high P P ratio as well. So a lot of people are thinking that if the growth does not sustain and looking at the IT sector right now, if the growth does not sustain, then it will become a problem. But if you look at the IT sector as a whole, the IT sector has done well. So can you take a bet on Tata Alexi? I would say wait till the result, as I said. But it has come down to a beautiful point where it is in a good accumulation zone. So if the result is good, I would say from here to here you can keep. Buying, right if the result is good just keep buying in this zone whatever the price is it will eventually go up and hit the top barrier of this mark as well right that is what tata alexi looks like now coming to hcl hcl has recently given a nice breakout so look at hcl right hcl is trading like this and finally it has broken out from this so this is a very good position for you to take a buy position in hcl right now and the next target that you can see it will go up to 1200 very soon right now it has already broken this channel it has already broken 983 as well it will eventually go up to 1200 very slowly very peacefully but it will give you again a 20 25% rise because it has recently broken this channel also right now very similar to what is going on with tcs as i showed you right very 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 similar so these are some of the things again i'm coming back to the main ones axis bank keep a track on this if it breaks this it signals a buy infosys is currently in a buy position right now we can take a good swing trade to 2800 at least to 2700 it would go and you can take a small hit a small if you are doing short term trading you can take a small exit over there tcs very close to the channel breakout so keep an eye out on this tata alexi has come down below its channel wait for the result to come out if the result is good immediately at whatever cost is there if the result is good start buying because then it start rallying up again and i don't want you to miss that rally to 1200 again it give you a 20 30% gain there and hcl tech is currently again in a buy position right now so these are the different things and wipro i would say is still in a sell position i would not buy wipro for all the people who have been looking at wipro wipro look at this right this was the trading barrier that wipro was trading which we had drawn a long time ago wipro has recently broken this and fallen down wipro is heading down towards 346 so whoever wants to take a short trade can do that this is going to go down to 346 because that was the previous low it had hit and that becomes a previous support and uh, resistance right but wipro fundamentally is not doing really well that is why the stock is going down this is currently in a short position right now till 346 this can be a good short position but it take some time for it to hit this right coming back so guys this was just a very nice different experimental video because i keep looking at all of this right i look at fundamental analysis and i also look at technical analysis to find out the right entry point now tcs gave a good result doesn't mean i'll go buy tcs right now i'm waiting for that right entry point infosys gave a good result 
and it gave a good uh, knock off back like a good rally upwards and accumulating tc infosys again right now and it stocks as i told you was trading at a very low point and we were waiting for it to like suddenly do well so that we can start accumulating this now if you like this video i, I this is very important okay so if you like this video please do let me know because i keep looking at stocks like this every single week i find four to five stocks that are good from a technical analysis standpoint where you can take an exit or you can even do a short position so if you like this and every week i can come and show you at least three stocks that are in good position to buy neutral or sell so only if you want and only if you like something like this please put in the comment section below and if you do that then i will understand that you guys want it and then i will do more videos like this okay this is me shashank gurupa signing off i hope you guys enjoyed this video take care see you guys bye investments and in securities markets are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing